Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about an incident involving the White Fence Gang and Armenia Power 13. When 15-year-old Armin Petrosin arrived in East Hollywood from Armenia in 1989, he was thrust into an urban environment where large, long-established street gangs, in this case, Mexican-American and Salvadoran, often preyed on smaller group of new immigrants. Outnumbered, Petrosin and two friends formed a defense alliance that grew into the Armenian Power Street Gang, which at its peak in the mid-1990s had about 120 members. Petrosin's Armenian Power leadership ended about 1999 when he decided he would get out before he got life in prison or death on the streets. On May 22, 2000, Petrosin made a fatal dining choice. He went to his old haunt for a hamburger like an old mafioso mowed down during dinner. Petrosin was shot dead as he relaxed in the patio area of his favorite Armenian restaurant, Sourin's Deli on Hollywood Boulevard. 17-year-old White Fence gang member Jose Argueta was arrested, convicted of first-degree murder, and conspiracy to commit murder. Petrosin had not been a specific target, but just happened to be seated at the wrong place at the wrong time. He was gunned down in revenge for an act of disrespect earlier that day that did not involve him. During the trial, jurors watched a videotaped interrogation in which Argueta said that he gave a mission to Sapo, a new member of White Fence, to carry out the killing. In the taped police interview, Argueta, who goes by the street name Little Crazy, admitted that he not only told Sapo to shoot an Armenian power member at the modest restaurant, but even told him how to hold the weapon with the palm of the shooting, hand facing down, gang style. Detectives have never located Sapo and say they are unsure if he exists. Bullets fired from a gun found on Argueta shortly after the shooting matched the bullet removed from Petrosin's body and gunpowder residue was found on Argueta's hands. Initially, police suspected that Petrosin was slain in retribution for the killing 17 days earlier of a Latino student at Hoover High School in Glendale, allegedly by Armenian American youths but they quickly discounted that theory. The two killings were not at all related. On the day of his death, Petrosin slept until noon at his parents' North Hollywood home, 10 miles away at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Western Avenue in Hollywood. And roughly an hour before Petrosin awoke, an unknown member of Armenian power flashed the gang's hand sign and pointed a 45 caliber pistol at three members of White Fence. It was a major affront to White Fence, which began in Boyle Heights in 1939, and members of the gang's Hollywood clique quickly plotted revenge. Petrosin spent the afternoon with his older brother Arson. About 4 p.m., he left to eat at Sourin's Deli. As Petrosin sat down in the patio, witnesses told police a member of White Fence walked up slowly, pulled out a Smith & Wesson 9mm semi-automatic handgun, and shot him twice, once in the heart. LAPD officers chased Argueta and arrested him shortly after the shooting when a blue Camaro he was riding in crashed. He was the only suspect arrested in the case. Although the name Armin Petrosin may mean little in the Armenian communities of Hollywood and Glendale, a mention of his street name, Silent, brings instant recognition to many. Silent was a street legend. An alley fighter, renowned for never backing down from a challenge, he earned his nickname because he seldom spoke, but as another Armenian power member known as Hando told the Times in 1998, when Silent talked, everybody listened. Petrosin was born in 1973 in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. He helped form Armenian power in the late 1980s when it came to be known as AP. AP is a gang of Armenians that began in order to protect the Armenian youth population from being preyed on by Mexican gangs. Some longtime Los Angeles area residents of Armenian descent have said the gang has brought them shame and they consider it a stain on the community. In a 1997 interview in prison where he was serving a two-year sentence for robbery, Petrosin defended it. On Thursday, August 1, 2002, at approximately 12.30 a.m., an escape of three juvenile male inmates of East Lake Juvenile Hall occurred. The three inmates escaped under the cover of darkness by breaching a wall located on the south side of the facility. East Lake Juvenile Hall, located just behind the Los Angeles County USC Medical Center, is a secure juvenile detention facility. The escapees, 
Marvin Alexander Sandoval, 17 years of age. Jose Rene Argueta, 17 years of age. And Fernando Sergio Nupiri, 18 years of age, were all convicted of felony crimes. Sandoval and Argueta were in custody for separate murders in the city of Los Angeles. And Nupiri was in custody for a probation violation resulting from a carjacking in the city of Salgate. It was not publicly clear what the punishment for Jose Argueta was. But there was knowledge that Argueta, a Central American native, was facing 50 years to life in prison without the possibility of parole.